On the home screen, select Parameter from the top menu bar. From that drop down menu list, select Spec. Click on the Maximize button in the top right hand corner to enlarge. The spec settings dictate how the scale will behave, so only modify the settings that you need to change. The first field, Label Item Print Format, is where we set the global label format. For the value, we use 1 in our example. This number corresponds with the label number in our label editor. This checkbox acts as a filter. If you uncheck this box, the field will not be updated during the transmission. Next is the Label Item Barcode Format, where we set the global barcode format. For the value, we use 2 in our example. This number corresponds with the barcode number in our barcode editor. Label Item Barcode Flag is used at the start of our barcode and identifies the barcode as being weight or price embedded. In North America, this number is usually 2. With Label Item Print Times, we specify the number of printed copies during a transaction. Some label suppliers wind the label rolls in the opposite direction. Selecting Reverse in the Label Item Print Reverse field will address this issue. Changing the Gap Paper Prefeed Distance value allows you to align the PLU text with the preprinted fields. Click on the Date Type pull-down and choose from the available options. Next, you set the number of days for the global shelf days. In the dot matrix screen idle mode menu, you can choose the text that will show when the screen is idle. Idle mode source defines how the dot matrix screen will display this text. The date print mode month field must be set to two characters to be compliant with CFIA regulations. The dot matrix LCD's contrast and brightness fields are used to adjust the screens. Make sure to enable the import export only for the fields that you want to modify. Click on Ethernet in the top menu bar to complete the download.